This is basically how I did my VHS effect that I want to show with you. So when we moved the campuses, uh, I couldn't log in back to my local account on the PCs. And animation is where I did it. So I lost some of the files that were on there, which is why you see this. But I can explain to you how I did the VHS effect. <laughs> so first off, the only things you want to worry about are comp 3 and 4. So we start with comp... So now, Comp 3 has a composition size of 320 by 480. And uh, the video that I put in was 1280 times 720, which is a lot bigger than that. However, when I put it in, all you have to do is just scale it down to the exact size of the composition. It doesn't matter that it looks weird or squished, that's just what you have to do. I also did this with a VHS overlay that I added. So I basically just add a VHS overlay um, with the add multiplier on it. Uh, so it just gives that um, kind of those lines that go across the VH screen, the VHS screen. Um, and so I did that for comp three and for comp four, I made the composition size 40 by 480. So this is what it looks like. It's really thin but it doesn't really matter since both of these are going into the main comp uh, right here. So in the main comp, what I did, I put comp four, which is the thinner one on top of comp three. So what I did with comp four was since it's really thin, I scaled it up. You have to unlink it, by the way, unlink the scaling. And I scale it up to 1600%, uh, which made it as big as the composition size of this one, actually. Hold up. So this composition size of the actual composition uh, would be would be a full 640 by 480, which is kind of just the resolution you'd want for a VHS kind of film, I guess. So that's what you want here. And so I scaled it up to fit the composition by 1600%. So the thin video you saw before is 1600%. And for composition three, which is kind of the bigger-ish video, I just scaled it up to 200%, which fit the composition size. And as you can see here, I put composition three to saturation. Now, this helps with it because once you scale Composition 3 up, it'll look very blurry and kind of a little wavy. And so, all I really did was scale it up, and then I put saturation on it to blend the colors together to give it more of the VHS color effect. So, after that, I added the effects. So, I put an adjustment layer on top of Comps 4 and 3. And I added a fast box blur, which just kind of blurs it a little uh, vertically. Uh, so it adds kind of like the little tiny waves, but they're not animated yet. I added an unsharp mask to uh, get rid of that blur. Added grain because there's always grain in those VHS types of films. And then lastly, I added a wave warp, which is the actual animated kind of like little wavy lines that you see across the screen of uh, VHS videos. And it it, could, it it is more prominent, um, probably just if I would increase it, but I, I made it just a little smaller, so it's there if you really looked hard. But that's basically all I did to get the video I produced.